hi guys it is good to be back yo i quickly want to share a story with you guys before i do my 30 day skipping rope challenge my melani guys yesterday i started shooting and i shot and i was about to edit last night and everything was like the bomb the everything and then while I was about to edit, everything went south. It didn't work out. Now I'm shooting my morning routine again. So, <laughs> um, at the moment, I'm busy with my 30-day challenge skipping rope. So I'll be sharing the app with you guys. So maybe you can join me. <laughs> so, I don't know. It's a vlog whatsoever. But the vlog for today is um, I'll be unboxing my camera because a lot of you guys have been asking what do I shoot with. Um, don't judge, guys. I haven't showered. I'm from a morning jog. So scrappy. I'm still gonna look, you know. And my afro wa. For those who don't know me, my name is Tonto, Mrs. T Zuko. Whatever, whatever, whatever you like. So as I was saying. <laughs> I'll be unboxing my camera, my 30 day, um, wow, my 30 day, um, skipping rope challenge and I'll also be, um, answering your questions from Instagram Q&A and then that's about it. So let us do it. I hope you will enjoy. Tell me if I can sing. <laughs> Bye guys. See you in a bit. So guys, what I usually do is that I usually do um, 50, 100, 200, and yeah, and then you do the sides and stuff, but you will see on the app. So let us unbox the camera. Hi guys, I am back. So now I'm about to unbox my camera. So this is the camera that I use. I got it as a gift from hubby. And yes also uh, something that i was going to say guys is that um in the morning what i do i drink warm water before i eat it's very healthy you can check it out so this is the canon eos 800d so basically it comes with a bag i want to take out everything so you can see so the nicest thing about this guys it comes with um training so you get free training so you can know more about the the camera um this is what i love about this i'm a canon fan <laughs> and oh when you look at the box this is what the box comes with it comes with a bag extra lens and um i forgot this thing what do they call this oh a remote switch <laughs> wow and an, a memory card which is 16 gigabytes that's the nicest thing so let us start here with the bag i love this bag even when you travel i can put it on my back it is very very comfortable it is it's so comfortable guys and it has a zip in front you can put your memory cards and stuff and let me open it okay So, I love this bag because it has sections on how where you can put your camera. It has also more things to put. And one thing I like about these sections is that you can un unthink them, you know? Like, so it could be straight. So, that's what I like about it. So, let's start here. Um, this is usually, this is for the camera. This is... Um, can put it on the camera especially when i'm outside it comes with that this is how the charger looks like you have to put it in like that it comes with a charger and as i've said um a remote switch where's the remote switch it basically looks like this i love this remote switch because even when i take pictures i don't have to press the camera i can just put press <laughs> press the remote switch you connect it 
to your camera so it basically it looks like that then the nicest thing i got an extra lens i've never really opened it i actually press this button oh yeah and what i love about this bag guys it has sections that you can put so high five to canon so basically i have this camera which is the eos 800 it basically looks like that but i want us to quickly start off with the lenses I've never really opened the lenses, but it basically looks like that if you want to zoom into them. So it's closed now. It looks like this. There you go. Obviously, we will open and it will look like this and also open this side. So basically, we open. Shout out to Canon. Basically, looks like this. And yes and one thing i love i love about this camera you open okay let's try to put it here okay you open it okay switch it on here there we go obviously you are going to see that box and one thing i like guys is that if you okay let's when you take a picture it changes whenever you move the circle it changes the different types of scene you want close up landscape portrait creative auto flash off scene intelligence auto program shutter variety all of those that's what i like and obviously you will have your video theme um a pro like the maximum is will always be like 30 minutes and yeah and i have what else you also have a flash these are all of the settings guys and this is where your, your memory card i was about to say sim card that's where you put your memory card your battery yeah the battery is like that okay we'll take it out it's this size guys So, this is your voila. Oh yeah, you can actually even take out the lens. I actually want to show you how you take out the lens. You press this button. Okay, let me hold it a bit. Turn thingy. Voila. And obviously, there we go. You have something to close. That's okay. That's not the lid. But it has a lid like this, guys. And then you can close it and put your other lenses. This is the lens that I use at the moment um and i'm doing just fine with it i just need to play around with it a bit and take pictures because it takes amazing pictures if you've seen my instagram i've been using my camera to take pictures and it takes good pictures so guys that's about it um it costs it plus minus 15k to 16k for all of this and yeah my skipping rope i bought it at what do you call this um mr pie sport as you can see i'm a mr pie fan it's quite cheap so guys please do enjoy but firstly when i started my youtube channel ne, i i was shooting with my iphone 7 plus so guys <laughs> this battery is disappointing so please do like share and subscribe bye maloney guys hi guys welcome back to my channel hi guys <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my channel it is good to be back <laughs> welcome back to my channel for those who don't know me my name is don't mrs t zuko whatever 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 you like I oh, this is the water whatever 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 you like channel guys i am back it is good to be back now but okay, as you've noticed earlier on i was unboxing my camera and doing the skipping rope trying to take care of myself because it's a plug with flash away you just need to take care of yourself even your mental health really really matters don't mind my craziness but new subscribers i see you i see you i see you in the morning do you guys see me hmm? Hmm? <laughs> but otherwise guys i did a poll on my 
Instagram asking questions. I was like, okay guys, I'm going to do a Q&A question for my Instagram. So you guys can ask me questions. And yeah, so that's why I'm here and Dimple. Guys, what do you think about my African entire thingy? It's nice, ne? It's nice. So yeah, guys, is it Paul or Paul? P-O-L-L or can you Paul? Do you say like it's P-A-U-L? But gay, yeah, whatever, I did a question thingy and people wrote for me a lot of questions. So I'll be answering those questions. If I don't read your questions, I'm very, very sorry. Like, if I don't answer your questions, I'm very, very sorry. But I'll try to answer as many as I can. So, let us, let us, let us, let us get started. Oh, yeah. Another thing is that what topic would you like me to do? And what more, and what would you like to see on my channel? So, okay. First question, how can you draw closer to God? So that is the first question. I would say to draw closer to God, there's a scripture that I like, which is um, first, first Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18. Come, let us reason about the matter. So if you want to draw closer to God and you've just been going through the most and COVID-19 has been doing flames, I would say take the scripture, take a chair. This is something that I always to say to my friends, take a chair. And it must seem like God is sitting there and he's like, Lord, I am dealing with this matter. And can you deal with this matter? And how can I draw closer to you? Because that's the only way. Like talk to God like he is your friend. That's the best advice I could give you. And he wipes all sins away. And you know what I love about God? He's not judgmental. Like I got judge you guys. And he loves us. He loves us. He will love you. So, how can you draw closer to God? I would say do that. Um, try. Um, there's these apps of like scriptures each day. Get a notebook. I'm a notebook fan. I like buying notebooks from Kumbooks, from CNAs, every day, right? Um, a scripture, pray upon it, and have times. Or get a friend, you pray pray with them like i've had so many friends like who have asked me via dm guys and we've built good friendship like hey sis can you please pray with me this is my prayer request in in in, in. and we're praying about that and that just draws you closer to god and sometimes even your circle of friends draws you closer to god so that's my two cents next one what keeps you going or motivates you what keeps me going is that um Number one, uh, one day I'm going to have a family, I'm going to have kids, and I don't want my kids to struggle just like me. So, like, I want to prepare, like, what keeps me going is the future. I don't know, but I'm one person, I really get excited of my future. So, what keeps me going is, number one, my husband. Number two is that the, my future kids, I want them, when they look at me, they're like, Mommy, you're doing the things. You are just fetching whatever that has your name on so that's what keeps me going every single day and motivates me i want to equip myself i want to become a better woman and i know whatever a woman touches she does a double we just do the things and that just keeps me going there's so many things that keep me going but one of the key things is family i'm one person who's for family for building family and Voila! Next question. What is your favorite book or you have read and has changed your life? Actually, here is the book. This book has changed my life for the better. Like, I even, like, subscribe to Robin Shomner, like, thingy. So, I get, like, from my emails, like, certain motivational stuff each day it has changed my book it is <laughs> it has changed my life in so so many ways and guys get yourself this copy like you your it is worth it it will change the way you think yo i love this book i love i even hooked up with people to read it it has changed my life it has made me it has made my work effort to like to be on other levels to become better wow guys like if you want to Earn your morning, elevate your life. This is the book. So that is the book. It, oh, yeah. It's the 5 a.m. club, guys. 5 a.m. club. There we go. Next question. Who is your favorite? Um, who is your favorite YouTuber? 
Um, I, I feel like I have so many favorite YouTubers and one thing that my husband has taught me is that even if the content is not for you, make sure you do subscribe to that YouTuber, like, even comment if you have watched the video. But if the content is not for you, the best you can do and the best you can support other YouTubers is just by subscribing because it's for free and just liking the video. So. Um, that's what I do with YouTubers. I, even if I don't watch their content or I don't resonate with their content, I make sure I subscribe and I like. But my favorite, favorite YouTuber is yours channel. Yo! I love that woman. <laughs> I love her channel and I feel like, you know when someone is authentic, I think that's what draw, draws me the most to yours. The way she speaks, how authentic she is, just dr What? The fishing? I fish up. Oh, I fish up. That's how I feel when I watch um, Yo's channel. Like, she's so authentic. She's a go-getter. And whenever you watch an episode or a, a video, you feel like, I need to go back to the drawing board. I need to do better. I need to do better for myself so I can be, can become a better person. Next one. What did you study and what do you do now? Okay, I studied um, tourism management at Nelson Mandela Metropolitan University, but now they've changed it to Nelson Mandela University, which I call it NMMU, NMU. It's funny, but um, I studied tourism management because I'm a traveler. I love traveling. And um, in a way, I started my own business, which is push, push travels, yeah. And but again, COVID happened and everything. So I'm a traveler. I love traveling. I love visiting new attractions. I'm just that type of person. Like I could sit and be on these traveling pages and just different types of sceneries just give me so much peace. And if you're married, you'll know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. <laughs> but um, yeah. And what do I do now? Um, co currently, I'm st in studying logistics. The reason why I'm doing that, that I want to combine my tourism and my logistics into together because there's a vision that I do have for that. So I'm currently doing my second slash third year in logistics. So yes, 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 yes. I'm going to go secure, secure bags that have my names on. That's why I'm studying logistics. And I'm also doing that at Nelson Mandela University but now we're doing it online so guys 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 tell me how are you finding it studying at home because you it's not easy tell me how do you do it just share with me just share with me and next one do you have a vision board I'm for vision boards actually I was watching conference in Bumile Dwaba's conference where she said that her mother like busted like a vision board like Ewa Dropini they were covered that's one thing that we do with Sipo we for vision boards like whenever you wake up you've just taken a shower and stuff you open your cupboard and your vision board is there to remind you so I'm for vision boards and one thing I've noticed when I write things down and I put it on my vision boards, they usually do happen. Like, let me share something. I've been, when this year started, actually it was last year, when I was about to do my vision board, I've been praying and wanting to be part of leadership programs. And I just wanted to equip myself to become a better, like, young woman, you know. So... Funny enough, I wrote it down. Like, I was like, God, even if it's one, I'm fine with that. What did God do? What did God do? He opened up, like, opportunities and, you know, speak things into existence. Actually, Habi said this thing today. I actually want to read it for you guys as we were having, like, an informative um, conversation. He said, what you say will come alive. What you say will come alive. So... I was speaking things to existence on my vision board, saying things that I'm the next big thing. I am, billboards will know my name, baby. I'm that type of person. I speak life to my, to, to my vision, you know? And so if you have, if you don't have a vision board, make sure you do have a vision board and write things down and just paste it there. And the weirdest thing is that sometimes you forget and like six months later, you're like, wow, it actually happened. So what happened guys is that, um, I wanted to do leadership programs and guess what? 
um, I've actually done three. I'm on my third leadership program now. And I'm like, wow, God. And they've cut. Yo, I didn't expect it at all. But that is the power of putting things out there, speaking things into existence. And they really, really do have. Yeah. And if your vision board is not working, it's fine to come again and sit down and start all over again. There's nothing wrong, guys. Next one, how long have you been with Sipo and how did you guys meet? I think I do have a video. Please check it down below um, how we guys met and stuff. But um, to cut it short for you guys, we were firstly friends. Um, we met, I think I was motivating at a school. Like we, we just like giving and giving and giving and giving. So we're motivating a school. We had a project which we started. Maybe we should go back to that project actually. It's a uniform project. We started at my mother's school. So that's how we met. I met him through a friend. You know, his friends were my friend. It was that type of vibe. Saga thing, yeah. So that's basically how we met. And then we went to vacation and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But watch the video down below and then you'll find out. And um, how long have you been? I've known him like we've been 2017. We've been together since 2017. 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> End of this year will be maybe five years. Yeah. So yeah. And the guy. The guy. The guy. Just charmed me, man. You know, man. I'm joking, guys. But the way he thought like really attracted me and how he asked me out there's a video down below yes okay <laughs> next one how oh when are you guys planning to have kids and how many do you want um we're planning to have kids in the next three years because i'm currently 26 years old 20, 27 um so around about when i'm 29 20 29 28 I twenty nine thirty. That's when I'm planning to have kids. Um, Seaport is one year older than me, so that's when we plan to have kids. The reason for this, um, financially, we want to be like ready, ready, ready for kids because kids are expensive, and we don't want our kid to struggle just for putting a pram, guys. You can't have your dream pram for your kids. So yeah, so we'll be ready then and your kids, even emotionally, we want to be ready. So that's why initially we want three kids. Um, but if we could have more, let it multiply, babes, let it multiply. Oh, the tip of multiply. Hey, Yenta. Okay, I'm joking, guys. But yeah, if we would have more, we would. Um, next one, how many siblings... Oh, what does your husband do? My husband is a teacher, guys, and an inspiring business man. So he's a teacher, and actually, uh, let me take a picture. He's actually really, really good at what he does. He won, um, okay, it's not focusing, but he won, um, what is this, <laughs> a trophy <laughs> for being the best teacher best young teacher of the year he's passionate with what he does he even he even started an mpo which he was in Akana with friends which is to develop young um ladies and men regarding education and stuff um he's busy cooking something another mpo which is with young boys he started at his school and yo guys People would think I have kids, but this house has always has young boys and stuff. But I think it makes sense because I deal with ambassadors at church, which is teenagers. I'm more of a person like equipping young girls and developing themselves. So he's busy also cooking that. And where do you live? Nizan Visitel, are you guys going to visit me? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Now, time to think. Guys, I would share where I live now, but I live in Port Elizabeth, um, the friendly city. Hence, I am this friendly. <laughs> Hence, I'm this friendly. And where I live specifically, uh, sorry, I just can't share that because I don't want you guys being like knocking at my door and stuff, coming unannounced. My friends know where I live. And what would you say to kids like heading to varsity or don't know what to study? 
basically find your passion and if you don't know what to study um i don't want no yo guys i'm scared of people taking a gap year don't take a gap year find something that you'll do and um don't study what your friends are studying go for your passion babes the next thing are you a morning person no i am not a morning person but ever since i read this book i try to be a morning person if it so happens i don't wake up i'm one person who is hard on myself but if it so happens i don't wake up and stuff i'm not gonna punch myself and stuff because one thing sipo says like you always reminds me stop being too hard on yourself so have you ever drank alcohol of course the babes of course of course <laughs> oh it's a shampoo you must get the guy No guys, I got this when I got my car and it's still like clothes, closed I mean. Um, I used to drink obviously before like I got serious with Christianity and drawing close to God and stuff. I used to party but Sipo doesn't believe that, he thinks I'm making it up. Yeah, bo. Yeah, bo. Actually, I think I should do a story time, guys, before I was a Christian and stuff. Yo, go to get the class. But, okay, guys, I would go home. What is that word in English? I would go home and I was like, yeah, dolly. But, okay, yes, guys, everyone has a past. So, that is my past. I have drank alcohol. But one thing I noticed with alcohol, for me personally, I didn't like the way how I felt the next day. And it was... It was not for me. I was like, okay, I'm going to do this every weekend. And then what? Is this developing me or what? Oh, yeah. And I was, I had EP colors of swimming. And obviously, it, with my sport, it was, guys. And it wasn't worth it for me. And I really wanted to strive more in my sport academics because it was also like helping out with my fees and stuff. And yeah, so. It, it was just not for me like I like the surrounding being around friends like that and stuff but it was not for me but I want to show when you are the newest times 2000 and guys now such a heavy message I did yeah bro ah yo yeah bro yeah okay guys guys that's about it please do like share and subscribe and press the notification press that bell so you can be part of the notification bell so guys until next time